Hey, it's Brian Thomas from the 55 KRC Morning Show. Today's the day the new Congress gets sworn in. Congratulations to John Boehner, our new uh, House Majority Leader. Uh, I hope he's learned something uh, over the course of the last several years, particularly over the course of the last two years, with all the hard economic times and the rise and um, prominence of Tea Party. Thanks to the Tea Party folks for bringing him back to power, frankly. Uh, it remains to be seen what type of person he will be as House uh, Majority Leader. We're hoping, at least the fiscally responsible among us, that he has learned uh, from the past couple of years, and certainly $14 trillion and growing uh, exponentially debt, uh, that he will be in a position, as will the other members of Congress, to do something about it for the, for the good and for the sake of our nation. And to that end, and I, I, I read this quote uh, on the radio, and I think it's worth reminding and reading again, our president, Barack Obama, feels the same way, or at least he used to. I'm going to wait and find out what he has to say about this debt ceiling issue, but I don't think Barack Obama's going to really want to cap it or leave it where it is. It seems to me he's the type of guy that wants to keep government running and to keep spending and spending and spending. That has been his mantra, and that is his socialist ethic. So who is this senator named Barack Obama from 2006 who talked about at that same time when they were raising the debt ceiling something far below the 14 some odd trillion they're going to raise it now? The fact that we're here today to debate raising America's debt limit is a sign of leadership failure. It's a sign that the U.S. government can't pay its own bills. It is a sign that we now depend on ongoing financial assistance from foreign countries to finance our government's reckless fiscal policies. Increasing America's debt weakens us, domestically and internationally. Leadership means that the buck stops here. Instead, Washington is shifting the burden of bad choices today. This was 2006, remember. On the backs of children and grandchildren, America has a debt problem and a failure of leadership. America deserves better. That was Senator Barack Obama. I doubt you'll be hearing from that man over the course of the next few months. We do have a debt problem, a debt problem brought about by spending. Spending is the problem. The programs that give rise to the spending may ultimately be the root of the problem, meaning you need to deal with the problems giving rise to the spending issues. Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, you got military in there, and I tell you, all non-discretionary spending as well everything. There needs to be an adjustment to reflect the reality of what we have got today. There has to be or we are going to, 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 to just destroy ourselves internally. So bring back this Barack Obama and let him speak on this in this manner when we start talking about raising the debt ceiling. And then we can have an adult conversation, going back to the words of Mr. Boehner, congratulations again, an adult conversation about why we need to keep the ceiling where it is and never again raise it. We're tapped out, and I don't feel like my children deserve having to pay the bill, and I know they don't think their kids, whenever they have them, are going to feel like paying our bills either. Have a great day. Walter Williams scheduled to be on the program tomorrow, and I am indeed excited about talking to him, one of my favorite folks. Take care. Have a great day.